Hi Taurus, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. The energies can be reversed, so if you are cross-watching for a Taurus, keep that in mind. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. We are going to be doing whatever comes out, what's coming in, exciting things happening. We will also be doing singles and new love. Then we will do the one you are thinking about, and I will end the reading with a cross watchers section. So if you would like to skip ahead at any time throughout the reading, I do provide you with timestamps in the description box as well as the comment section. I do appreciate all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to start with whatever comes out. Now, Taurus, there is somebody around you that has anxiety towards you and the situation. Okay, Justice card wanted to fly out. I feel like there is a truth coming out and this person is quite aware of either a truth being known or getting exposed for some sneaky behavior because the Seven of Swords was at the bottom of the deck when the Justice card fell out. What are the messages for Taurus, please? What are the messages? Okay, we have the Two of Cups. So your first message in the whatever comes out, guys, you know, there is somebody here that has deep feelings for you. And what did I say? Nine of Swords, this person has a lot of anxiety. For some of you guys, this could be a business partnership with the Two of Cups. And if it is a business partnership with the Two of Cups, I feel like somebody here has done something against your back. Um, for some of you guys, it could be a friendship with the Two of Cups. So just take it how it resonates. But for a good majority of you, I am getting a love affair here. Yeah. Three of Swords, really in their head about something, some betrayal here. This Three of Swords talks about affairs of the heart, okay? Somebody definitely did something behind your back and betrayed your trust. And this person is really emotional over it. Queen of Wands, uh, you know, you're definitely looking away from this person. So some of you guys, you know, you may not know just yet, but there is a, the full story will be coming out. And I'm getting the full, full story coming out within the next four weeks. So if, if you don't see some type of behavior exposed or you are not already aware of it, that message is not for you. We have the Three of Cups. Yeah, this is someone that would like your friendship back, okay? Or like the connection back in general. They are really worried that you no longer care for them. They're really worried that you're going to move on, okay? Uh, Ten of Wands, the Fool. Somebody is fearing that you're going to stop caring about them or you already have. Let's get another message real quick. That was a dominant message that was coming out when I was tapping into your energy. What's coming in for Taurus? What are the energies coming in for Taurus, please? When it comes to life, what are the energies that are coming in for Taurus? A wish fulfillment here. A blessing is coming towards you. Taurus, I see you studying or you're learning some type of new skill here, okay? I see I see a very passionate connection coming towards you, Taurus. And it's due to you... It's almost like you're reborn here. I'm getting a message of blessings coming in and you're rewriting the story of your life or you're definitely changing the story here okay there's something about you changing the story you're manifesting a blessing 
So whatever you have been focused on with the Page of Pentacles, that's the blessing with the Nine of Cups, the Magician, that's coming in. Now, I do feel like with the Two of Swords, a lot of you guys may have felt blocked or stagnant. But the, the, the Lover's card talks about you coming into alignment with, with exactly whatever you have been focused on. You are coming into alignment with that. That's the energies coming in. Now, for a lot of you guys, this could be communication with the magician or it is a particular goal you have really set your mind to. And I do see a blockage getting removed. Let's see what the uh, exciting things are happening for you. Exciting things happening for Taurus, please. Exciting things happening for Taurus. Your hard work paying off, okay? Some of you guys will be moving in the future. That's a message for those of you who have already been contemplating moving. I do see you finishing something, making it to the top with the Ten of Wands. So whatever you have been putting a lot of effort into, the Seven of Pentacles, your hard work paying off, your investment, you seeing a return in your investment here. And it's going to be a major return in your investment, okay? It's like you get you get a return tenfold, okay? A breakthrough is what's happening. A breakthrough in success. And for some of you guys waiting on communication, whether this is communication um, on an issue or whatever type of communi communication you're waiting for, that's the exciting thing happening is there's a breakthrough in communication. But I'm also getting a breakthrough in success. You seeing, you reaping the rewards here. There is something you have set out to do or you will set out to do and I see a breakthrough. Exciting things for Taurus, please. Exciting things for Taurus. It's telling me there's something you know about the past. For some of you guys, it's... You could be having a lot of deja vu about a situation, okay? And this could involve a past life. But I will tell you, Taurus, those of you that are waiting on communication from a past love or a past person, I see that coming in. I'm also seeing you get great news surrounding a home. Some of you guys are really putting a lot of work into your house here, okay? Whether it's to sell it or to, you know, make it more comfortable for yourself. I'm also getting for you, Taurus, there's going to be more communication in the home, more investment in the home when it comes to you and the person you're living with. I also see for a lot of you Taurans with the Ten of Wands, you could be packing and moving. I do see a new home in your future. Those of you that are wanting that, those of you that would think that would be exciting, it would be good news. Um, we have Triangle and we have Divorce. Somebody that you're in a triangle with, somebody here is getting divorced, okay? That would be exciting for you to hear. Um, whether you want to get with, back with this person or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm reading for a lot of you. It's telling me there is uh, there was a crowded relationship. Somebody had a choice. And this person is getting divorced. Uh, you advancing in the workplace is also an exciting thing happening. Your professional life. So I do see you guys elevating there's a breakthrough in work. You're going to be recognized for your competency here, okay? I'm just getting like, there's somebody at the workplace uh, that sees how much work and sees how invested you are, and you will be getting communication from this person. Those of you that have been having interviews, I do see you getting a job. There's an older male or an older female, we know it's male or female, that you were in a triangle with 
and I am seeing you here about a divorce, or you're going to, somehow you get wind of this with the Ace of Swords. You're going to hear about this or see this with your own eyes. are um, at the workplace I see um, once you come out of your shell some of you guys can be very shy at the workplace okay and it's limiting your potential to excel uh, being too shy overly shy withholding um, your guides are wanting you to come out of your shell a little bit more so you can experience success in business or the workplace because you're limiting your potential so it's like the exciting thing happening is once you come out of your shell um, and really show the workplace who you are or show this business who you are, there's going to be some type of elevation in that. And what I mean by who you are is like your personality. Uh, using your voice at the workplace is going to be very beneficial for you. What else for Taurus, please? When it comes to life messages, please, what else for Taurus? There's someone older than you thinking about you is what it's telling me. Uh, or you, you have, you yourself have aged since you've last spoken with this person. You could have had a birthday or two. This person still thinks about you. Yeah, wow. This person thinks about how they could have done better. They could have been um, better towards you. They could have given to the relationship more. What do they want to say to Taurus? That they wish they could go back. So we have mature woman and thoughts. Now this to me, somebody of course could be older than the other, okay? Um, but if you look at these pictures, there's definitely this man is thinking about this woman, right? And he remembers her being, you know, younger here. And then look at the mature woman. She has aged. Now, that's just what I'm seeing. And it's male or female, but I'm just seeing like this, this person has painted a picture of you in their mind. And you have aged or the situation has... Um, been ongoing, right? Not speaking with each other. This person is thinking about you. And then with that courtship expectation, they, they know that they should have done right by you and they wish they could go back and relive this experience to do things differently. They daydream about a life with you. Is what I'm getting, Taurus. All right, we're going to move on to the singles and new love. Singles and new love, please. In mind, you can click to the timestamp to skip ahead at any time. If you want to bypass the shuffle, I don't know if y'all can see Luna back there. She's playing with her. She has a toy. It's a. It looks like sushi. <laughs> She's a Taurus, by the way. All right. I'm going to get a sip of coffee here before we begin. Okay. Singles and new love, please. For Taurus, singles and new love. Completely single. There is someone coming in to communicate with you. 
clarify that? Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Single Torns, I do see that there is someone in particular, I'm getting an air sign, possibly a fire sign, that sees there is competition with gaining your attention. And so I do see this person acting on impulse to speak with you. Now, whether or not there are other people, other suitors, this person is assuming that you have multiple people interested in you. And so they're telling themselves they need to act fast. So... You have some type of quick communication coming in. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Wands. So expect someone to ask for ask you out. I'm getting ask you out, ask for your number, or DM you here. It's like this person has... It's almost like with the Five of Wands, the Knight of Swords, this person at first will kind of hesitate. They'll kind of try to hold back speaking with you. But there is this energy that they can't fight. It keeps pulling them in to communicate. And so there's some type of spontaneous communication from this person. There's someone I feel like you're interested in that actually really wants to talk to you. But yeah, they have anxiety. And at the beginning of your message, I was picking up on anxiety from somebody. So there is someone here that you would be surprised. I feel like this person is interested in you too. Someone you like is also interested in you too. New love. New love, please. Some of you single Taurans, you might be having a difficult time with meeting new people. Okay, whether this is you feeling like there is slim pickings here. Okay. But I do see an interesting individual coming in. Let's see. Give me, um, give me some more information on that for the singles. Who is this person? Okay, you have destiny. It says luck, chance, meet, uh, meant to be, excuse me. So your luck is about to change when it comes to meeting people, whether this is you not meeting people that meet your standards. Some of you guys may be meeting people that uh, you feel like you're, it's a debate or you guys, your values don't line up with the Knight of Swords, the Five of Wands. Some of you singles may have anxiety because you feel like you keep meeting people that are just having, they have opposing belief systems or there's too much drama surrounding that connection. I do see your luck changing in that department. You're going to be meeting someone that is better suited. Eight of Wands, more in alignment with your values, who you are, what you stand for, and where you want to go in life. It says destiny. So there's definitely a connection that's going to feel like it is meant to be. You both will be feeling this way. And I do see a lot of communication coming in, back and forth communication. And I feel like with that Nine of Swords, you know, this person may have anxiety speaking with you. And then there may be situations where you both are not wanting to ruin things. It's almost like you guys get in your head and you're restless because you like each other so much. So what about the Torns that are dealing with new love? Taurus that is dealing with new love, please. Wow, this person wants to make you proud. This, this new love, Taurus, really wants to build a life with you that you both can be proud of together, okay? Um, I am getting... This new person really likes you, Taurus, okay? Yeah, look at that. They're invested. This new love is super invested into the connection, wanting to plant seeds with you and wanting a successful outcome. This is somebody that 
I'm getting with the Six of Wands, being with the Seven of Pentacles, they're 100% sure of you, okay? And they're really trying to, they're going to be trying to make sure you know this in the future. Because I do see them dropping hints of wanting to elevate this relationship. Both of you may be doing this, but I know for sure that they're going to be dropping hints here that they're wanting to move to the next stages of the connection, okay? Yeah, we have the Three of Wands. I feel like this person is waiting to talk to you about something here, okay? Um, they want a future with you. This new love really is invested, is what I'm getting. And, and I feel like they're going to be bringing up where is this going. Or I definitely see that conversation happening. Like, where do you guys see yourselves in three years, okay? Three, seven years, right? New love, please, for Taurus. New love for Taurus. The magician. This is somebody that is going to communicate with you. They want to share their assets with you with the magician. They want to share their resources with you, their benefits, all that stuff. They're definitely wanting to... I'm getting make things permanent here, and they want to talk about the future that this connection holds. We have Virgo energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn. It can be any sign, it's just energy, but the main thing I'm getting is the new love that you're involved with, they see a future with you. And then we have courting man, professional male uniform. This new love is going to continue showing you their investment in you. This is someone, don't be surprised if, you know, this person is opening your car door, doing little things like that. I know that may sound silly to some, but courting man, this is definitely someone that wants to show you that chivalry is not dead. This is someone I feel like has big plans, big future plans with you that you may not even be aware of yet. And they're really wanting to take care of you is what it's telling me. Like they want to take care of the relationship. They want to invest in you and invest in a life here looks good i'm seeing the new love taurus i feel like you guys will be going out on it excuse me uh the new love taurus i feel like you guys will be going out on a date and there may be a conversation a serious conversation that is brought up about where you two are headed and what you two want for the future of the relationship. I'm seeing that conversation come up very soon for you two. Because that is someone who wants commitment, marriage, sharing a life. Now we're going to go to the one that you have history with, okay? do cross watchers after this what happens between Taurus and this person okay ten of pentacles three of pentacles Okay, so I'm getting a connection that seemed pretty solid here in the past. Okay, there could have been commitment here between the both of you. But I just see... Somebody needing to make a decision in the past. And you guys trying to work something out is what I'm getting. It's almost like you guys trying to work out a situation... Trying to mold your lives together is what I was getting. Whether this was just kind of like talking about who you were, 
what she wanted out of a relationship, but there was definitely some type of closeness between you and this person, and you saw long-term potential with the Ten of Pentacles. But then the Judgment card, I feel like there were red flags maybe popping out. The universe was trying to get your attention on this connection in the past that you were really trying to work with someone with the Three of Pentacles. How does Taurus see this person? King of Cups. How does Taurus feel? Two of Cups. So this is someone that you're in love with. This is someone that you developed deep feelings for this person. Two of Swords. 22 could be significant to someone. 23, 32, 30, okay, and 20. Those are the numbers I'm getting. Doesn't have to resonate, but it could feel like this person was ignoring the way you felt about something. Kind of like a, a connection that really developed quickly is what I'm getting. But then you may have um, fallen into this pattern with the judgment card of constantly needing to, or having to forgive someone for their behavior. And the two of cups, I feel like you guys were having a discussion here about the way you felt. And, you know, king of cups, you were trying to have compassion and understanding for someone. And you really wanted them to have compassion and understanding. But then the two of swords is kind of like you felt ignored. Or you felt like your feelings were not valued in the situation. How do they see Taurus right now? There could be blocks going on. Blocks in communication or just not seeing eye to eye. I just saw the five of wands. So I do feel like there's some type of argument that happens. Or disagreement. Or there's a lot of drama or tension between the both of you. They want to speak with you. Ace of Swords. How do they feel? They're confused. I'm getting something you may have said in the past has really stumped this person. They're, they're kind of confused. There's something also about your directness or your honesty that kind of threw this person for a loop. But it's telling me they're confused by some sort of past communication you two had. They, they want you nine of cups. I feel like this person has a hard time bending their beliefs or it's, it's kind of like this person could be a little smug. And the nine of cups is kind of like you didn't give them what they wanted and that confused them. Whether this was you just telling them no with the Ace of Wands. I'm sorry, the Ace of Swords. Some of you guys may have told them no on something. Or you may have... There's something you said that confused this person that they didn't get their way on. You could have called someone out. I don't see the Queen of Swords, but intuitively I'm feeling that with the Judgment card being here. And then the Nine of Cups is giving me a feeling of this person being spoiled. Or, you know, they usually... They're spoiled for choice or they always get what they want. And you didn't give that to them. They're, I'm getting like you stood your ground and you guys could have closed yourself off emotionally to this person. And that has confused them. And I feel like someone here is used to always getting their way, guys. They want a future with you. This is someone who wants to move forward with future plans, okay? Six of Swords, they want to get to a better place with you. I I'm getting like someone planning to come back or planning to try to turn things around with you. And I'm getting the silent treatment just for mind games. So this person could turn a cold shoulder on you or they already have. I, I'm getting like the silent treatment here is creating more conflict and that's something that they're realizing. Yeah, so, uh, someone is, so it's like if you don't hear from this person, it's because they're strategically not speaking because this is someone who uses silence as a weapon. 
when they don't get their way. So it's like their silence is not because they don't want you. Nine of Cups, they clearly do, and they're wanting to speak with you, but they use silence as a weapon. So, I mean, what are you going to do with that? There's definitely some type of mind game happening when it is involved to little to no communication. What's the potential outcome here? I see a love offer from an Aquarius, that dang Aquarius. It doesn't have to be an Aquarius, but this person is definitely coming in to heal the connection. They're, they're, they value the connection they have with you. And it's almost like this person, they decide to follow their heart, guys, and communicate. I, I do see someone offering you some type of apology. justice someone wants to balance this out with you guys that's the potential outcome could be a libra or an aquarius i have pisces here could be another taurus a leo scorpio but this is someone here that wants to tell you the truth on how they feel justice ace of cups and the truth of the matter is they have deep feelings for you and I feel like with the star card being here, this is them wanting to work this out. It's like they're going, they value their feelings more than the, the ego here in the future. Because this strategic silence is not helping. I feel like justice card, they're going to be, um, how do I say? A, a taste of their own medicine. It's almost like with the justice card, them not speaking, hoping you'll be the one to come forward, but then the two of swords, you don't. It's like they feel played at their own game and then they can't take it anymore. So they decide to let their feelings flow out here, right? Because they're wanting to heal a connection. They're realizing that it's better off. You two are better together is what I'm getting. That's something that they're realizing. Now, there could be complications involving a Libra for some of you guys or involving a Pisces or another fixed sign. I am getting that. Uh, some of you guys may feel like there was a person or a situation that interfered with your connection somehow. But potential outcome, there is love getting offered here. Communication and truth being expressed. And the truth that's being expressed is the Ace of Cups. The uh, star card. This is someone coming in to be vulnerable with you and opening up to you about the, their truth. What's their hidden truth? That they're recovering. So, you guys, this person is recovering from some type of addiction, especially with the Nine of Cups. They can overindulge on something and they can no longer hide the fact that it is hurting them. And it could actually be hurting this connection, some type of addiction that they may hide or that they may have ran from in the past, ran from the truth. But those of you that this person does uh, deal with addiction, that is the vulnerability that is going to be expressed here. They're going to be aware that their addiction is hurting their connection with you. It says, I want you back and I hide my feelings. So this person will be, that hides their feelings will be expressing themselves on a more in a more vulnerable way in the future. Again, we have Libra, Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Okay, we're going to be doing cross watchers. Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces. If you are dealing with an Aries, 
This Aries is in love with you. If you are dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus is hanging on to you. They want you. This Taurus wishes to be with you. If you are dealing with a Gemini, this Gemini wants to give to the connection. Yeah, this Gemini, the star, six of wands, six of pentacles, the Gemini really wants you. They want to give to the connection. They're invested. I'm getting your wish fulfillment for that Gemini. If you're dealing with a cancer, this cancer is wanting to apologize to you, okay, or pursue you, depending on what went down, okay, with the Knight of Cups. If a cancer did you wrong, they are wanting to apologize. If there is a new cancer in your life, this cancer is wanting to pursue you. If you are dealing with a Leo, this Leo wants to communicate. The Leo wants to give you a stable offer, okay? The Leo is invested in you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo is focused on their career right now and they don't really have much going on other than that. If you're dealing with a Libra, this Libra is giving you the silent treatment, but they're in love with you. So you're not getting communication from this Libra, but they feel passionately about you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, uh, there could be some drama between you and this Scorpio. So I feel like the Scorpio is in, interested in you. There's some type of love this Scorpio has, may even be obsession. But the Five of Wands tells me that there's like a battle of egos, opposing belief systems here. But I feel like the Scorpio is just full of drama right now. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, the Sagittarius has hidden feelings for you. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, the Capricorn is holding back, but they're obsessed. Capricorn is obsessed with you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius wants to take action. Very interested in you. The Aquarius wants to reach out. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces spies on you. Some of you guys, this Pisces is spying on your growth or, you know, new and exciting things that may be happening in your life. They have seen it, but I'm just getting like a stalker Pisces. Alrighty, Taurus, those are your messages. I hope this provided you with some clarity. And thank you guys so much for hitting the like button. I do appreciate all your support. Until next time, bye.